Okay, well, how'd you like to make a half a million dollars by collecting just free email <laughs> addresses on a website that you could set up for almost free? That's what this guy, next guy did. I mean, it's a brilliant idea. See, there's ways on the internet you could go out and raise money, you know, through these crowdfunding sites that, you know, a lot of people that we've interviewed have gotten money that way. They get 50,000, you know, 100,000, or even 10,000, or maybe 200,000. Well, he was looking for investors and he thought that the best way to get investors is to put his idea on his own website, you know, and generate traffic and you know, by using social media and things like that and offering just by himself a free app. He's a programmer, so he figured out how to write an app. And it's an app that handles your family photos, like nothing else. I mean, there's a lot of things out there, but it, it's a restrictive app. So only grandma and you and things like that, you know, could use this. So it's a cool idea. So he thought this was a cool idea, but he wanted to get big money. He wanted a half a million to a million dollars. So to convince the big money guys who have that kind of money to invest in ideas, he went out on the internet to collect internet names to prove to these fat cats that this is really a sellable idea. And it happened. Yeah. And now he's got over a half a million dollars already just by collecting email addresses where people say, yeah, I want this when it comes out. So how do you verify you know, if somebody's going to invest in you, you know, you just can't say, hey, this is a great idea because we don't know. And to tell you the truth, nobody knows what a great idea is. You could have an opinion, but you really don't know until you put it out there on the market. So to so somebody invest in your idea, if you come in with 10,000, 20,000 names of people already told you this is a great idea and they want it, man, you can't beat that. You know, and that's why it becomes so much more of a secure investment by anybody giving you money to do something. <laughs> but again, don't forget, you get a partner that way. But if you need that kind of money, maybe a partner's worth it. You never know. And actually, he did a delightful video. This video he has in here with his child. <laughs> He's got like a five-year-old or something. It's just funny as heck. So if you don't do anything, just watch his video, but watch this first. Well, Ethan Levitt, man, with the Yovi. Man, I can't get over it. <laughs> You're going to get a half a million dollars with just getting email addresses <laughs> in a few weeks. You already got 10,000 email addresses in two weeks, you know, and you're looking for another 10,000. And now people have promised you like almost a half a million dollars because of this incredible photo idea you have that's going to revolutionize family photos, isn't it? How does yeah, it work? Totally. But, and, and, the, and the app is going to be free for everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is. Like, the, we're doing something nobody has ever done with a free app. <laughs> so in other words, you're really guaranteeing to investors that, hey, this thing is really cool. Look, at, I got 10,000 people want this sucker already, and I don't even have it, right? Yeah, like, so, they, they know that we're going to start with the real audience base. Uh -huh. So it makes sense for them. Like, they're saying... Well, instead of investing in startups right. that just started right now, we, having, we now have this startup that has this hype and buzz around it and ah. has already a, a real customer base to start with. So it's a much uh, easier investment to make. So in other words, if you have, uh, so you're really developing a model for somebody who's looking for money from investors to go out and just use the internet so i mean how much it costs you on the internet a couple hundred bucks or or something like that to do a video right and on the internet and generate excitement on the internet to get the names and prove that you got something that is going to sell yeah but i tell you it's not easy like yeah. you should have <laughs> oh Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to work to do this. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not it. This is America. Everybody wants it. <laughs> but it takes time and thoughtfulness to do this. So. Yeah, it, like, th actually, this video was a process that we, we talked with so many parents and uh -huh. the wording of the video, the script, uh, is, is based on so much experience of talking with our customers. Uh -huh. So when other parents that we didn't talk with saw it, uh, I guess 
the words and the way we told the story is something that resonated yeah. for a reason. Yeah, well, that, I mean, but actually for <laughs> entertainment value, people got to see that video. I mean, even if you don't put in your email address to get one of these free apps when they're available, right? Is that what you get when they're, when they're available? You get the free app when they come out? If you yeah, put in what, your name? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you got to see the video. I mean, when, you know, he is just seems like, you know, the new comic star from Israel who's going to take over the world. <laughs> and you'll see him in Hollywood soon. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so thank charming. You, thank you. And, and I guess your daughter, you know, who the your, your product is named after, Yovi, right? Is that how you say it? You, you, Yuvi. Yuvi. And that she's in this, and she's just a delight. Yeah, and it's just fun to see. But it's a family product. I mean, this is a product that... You know, like when we were talking earlier, it's like when we used to, in my generation, we'd invite family over to see all our slides for the past five years of our kid or our trip to Israel or whatever it is. And they sit there, want to see every little detail, you know, a thousand. You can't do that on these other photo apps, but yours can. And your app is private, isn't it? Yeah, it's like like you wouldn't put like using your example, you wouldn't go to the street and put the pictures of your kids <laughs> You know, in the bathtub, uh, <laughs> on the street for everybody to see, exactly, right? Exactly, right. But you would show them, like, how cute they are in the bathtub <laughs> when they're babies, when people come to your living room, yeah. because it's, it's private. It's yeah. private, it's intimate. You control who sees what. Uh, and that's exactly the experience UV enables you to do, to just control exactly who sees the photos of your kids. So when you um, say... This is, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. This is what? Yeah, and this is something that today, uh, well, the default in Facebook and in Instagram, and people use the default, yeah. uh, is, is that pe things are much more public and less secure yeah. in that sense. Yeah, well, it's, I guess, having private albums like we did before we had computers. <laughs> but using the technology and the convenience so grandma doesn't have to come over your house every time to see 100 photos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is wonderful. But when you said it, it wasn't easy, and, and to me, but it wasn't a big money event. I mean, you, you didn't get $100,000 to do this thing. I mean, you, you really no. took time and energy and your skill and, and trying to figure out the problem. And what was interesting when you we were talking about how you didn't even realize this was a problem, like until just you started talking to, you said you started backwards. You, you didn't look for a problem. You looked for what people were worried about. Yeah, well, I'm I'm uh, I'm a, I see myself as an entrepreneur, and uh -huh. UV uh, isn't my first company. It's actually my third. Uh, oh. My first was yeah, and actually my first one was uh, marvelously successful. My second one crashed and burned. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's real life. Failure. Real life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, now you're you're on the you're a comeback kid coming back. Huh? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's why we did things I differently. See. But instead yeah. of thinking of an idea and just coding it, mm -hmm. we started looking for, we said, let's uh, do something for parents. And instead of thinking of an idea, we looked for a problem, uh -huh. which was uh, this opposite process from what I'm used to. Uh, instead of, you know, being this, I'm Steve Jobs, I'm this visionary, uh -huh. and I'm so smart. It's a very <laughs> humble, humble place of I saying, see. I don't know. And let's just listen and look at behaviors of, of parents. So you went out and did research with parents. Yeah, instead we talked just, with a lot of Instead of just saying, hey, this looks like an interesting idea. I'll sit down and I'll code the hell out of this because I know how to code. But you spent a lot of that energy really talking to hundreds or dozens or whatever parents to see exactly maybe because you didn't have the idea yet. And they gave you the idea, right? More, more, more than 120 parents. 120 we parents, wow. Israel, Israeli and American, like we had a really hard time reaching American parents. But actually when we found the problem, it became much easier because suddenly moms, uh, like I remember this mom from New York uh -huh. that I talked to her about her photos and her photo habits. And she was so excited that somebody is trying to solve 
that he's even talking with her on her problems right. regarding photos of her kids that she scheduled. She just sent me emails saying, All right. <laughs> tomorrow call Jennifer at 10 p.m. <laughs> This is her phone. Call really? Samantha wow. at 4 p.m. This is her phone. It was wow. amazing. And like that was one of the signs for me that this is a problem Probably. worthwhile solving. So now you, uh, so you, you had really basically any, nobody at that point of your time, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you were wondering about, wow, you may have to go get a real job again or something like that. And you said, hey, we'll do this video and get names and, and to show you know, investors that this really has a market. And so you came and now that you're halfway then, investors are coming in with you and want to give you money before you're even finished. Yeah, actually, that's, that's a crazy consequence we didn't foresee. <laughs> Like we had this playbook of things we got to do to right. make this campaign work. Yeah. So the first thing was to get 15 friends to share it on their Facebook. Right. And from there, we just exploded. <laughs> and we didn't have any time to do the second line in our playbook. <laughs> and we're now just like, we've got uh, like more than 30 incoming investors. Wow. Just talking, scheduling meetings, wow. uh, we've wow. already, and we're getting term sheets and like, this is like, this is, this is real. <laughs> this is real stuff. Wow. And, and two weeks ago, you were nobody and almost had to get a job. Man. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, this is the internet terrific. Now, so people could still go get on the list, get your Good. email Let's in go there. Go to www.uv.co. Put your email and most importantly, share it with your friends. Yes, okay. Winner. He wants more investors. That's Y O O V I dot C O, right? Yes. Correct. Wonderful. Well, you're a delight. And give your daughters a hug. <laughs> Talk Thank to you, you very soon. Much, Matt. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, uh, fun guy, all right? <laughs> right there's so much. And actually, he, he's in Israel. And Israel, man, they're, they're really booming with entrepreneurism like this and creating ideas and creating jobs and things like that. And that's what we have to do more of that in this country. So if you have a job, I mean, an idea, and see, there's ways to do it. You know, and see, he, he used to probably spent a few hundred dollars or something doing that website, Max, you know, uh, to collect the names or whatever. So you could learn that. It's going to take effort but you could do it.